meet Bob again. He recently joined an e-commerce company. His team has asked him to learn microservices. He is wondering what microservices are. If you are like him, this video will help you understand what microservices are. Bob asked his mentor, Nancy, for guidance. Nancy took Bob with her on a time mission to the early days of the company. Nancy was the only developer back then. She built the first few features that allowed customers to register, browse for books, purchase books, and pay for them all in one monolithic code base. All services were deployed in one server and the system used a common database. Customers loved the products and the traffic grew 100 times rapidly. Nancy added more servers and database nodes to handle the traffic. While she realized that the number of customers who browsed products surpassed the number of customers who actually bought products, she had no option to scale the product service alone. She had to scale all services together. To keep customers engaged on the website, business wanted to introduce newer categories like music, electronics, and kitchenware. They wanted newer features at very high speed. Nancy hired smart engineers and developed new features and rolled them out every other week. The size of the monolithic code base grew exponentially. New team members had to be added every other day to keep pace with the increasing asks from the business. With the increased complexity of code, newer team members took longer to learn the code base and were slower in their development. The number of issues reported by customers increased. The deployment times increased as well with a lot of new dependencies added by a lot of different developers. Nancy built a specialist team to handle deployments, but that did not help. Nancy stopped development and went back to the drawing board with her core team. Taking inspiration from large e-commerce companies like Amazon and Netflix, they decided to remodel their product as a group of independent services that shared nothing amongst themselves. They broke the product down into smaller business areas. An example of a business area would be customer registration. The customer registration service would be an independently deployable and testable unit of code and would have its own database. They chose to apply the same concept and build microservices for other business areas like product, pricing, order, and payments. These microservices can be built using different technology stacks that are most suitable to the respective business areas. These services can be accessed by different links in a website. Any two microservices can communicate with each other synchronously using technologies like REST over HTTP or Thrift. These microservices can talk to each other asynchronously too using message brokers like ActiveMQ or Kafka. Bob is now giving a confused look. Nancy tells him, Bob, don't worry at this point, right? I understand there are new concepts out here, new technologies out here. We will learn them as we go along. Nancy organized her engineers into small teams. Each team was responsible for one business area. Nancy made sure that her teams were small enough that they could have lunch with just two pizzas. Each team now had a smaller code base to deal with, a faster deployment for their code bases, and autonomy to choose the technical stack that suited their business area. Nancy's teams were now a lot more happier, faster in responding to customer complaints, and very quick in building new features for the business.
Bob now understands why his company chose microservices and asked Nancy if there were any disadvantages of choosing microservices. Nancy told Bob, yes, there are disadvantages. Now it needs a lot more communication and coordination between teams to launch new features to ensure that we have standardized development practices across teams, we have to invest on platform components. The platform needs are addressed by many cloud-based providers who help to manage and deploy microservices. Nancy goes on to say that you will need microservices if you intend to scale if you are a very small business and do not see scale happening anytime soon, you are probably better off with monolithic systems so that you don't have to pay the cost of communication and your system will be simple. Bob now understands what microservices are and why companies choose them. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to continue learning with Bob. Signing off with Nancy Bob is Arun Paniyapur.